If you want to check out the, the whole show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. We move on to Bulls Thunder, and we have a market thanks to FanDuel. Nothing offshore right now. We have the Thunder minus one at minus 105 at FanDuel. Money line minus 108 apiece. Bulls are four and seven, three and four on the road at Oklahoma City Thunder five and six, own five at home. We're at Chesapeake Energy Arena, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Bulls are second in pace in the NBA, one hundred four point seven three, while Thunder are fifteenth, one hundred point eight six. Bulls have lost three straight, very close games on the road. They lost by four to the Kings, by two to the Lakers, and by three to the Clippers on Sunday. Their game versus Celtics was postponed on Tuesday due to Boston dealing with COVID, and what that has created is some some time some time that they didn't expect to have and they're looking to be getting reinforcements Otto porter listed as probable for friday's game against thunder he's been dealing with a back injury covid issues rampant on this team markinen is on track to play on friday against the thunder sadaransky and hutchinson remain out but are close to returning this could be a deep team moving forward they have seven players averaging double figures they just haven't had them all playing together at the same time except for opening week. The Thunder are coming off an ugly home back-to-back. They lost to the Spurs 112-102 on Tuesday and then lost 128-99 at home to the Lakers the following night. Al Horford was resting, and he was sorely missed. Darius Baisley is listed as questionable for Friday's game against the Bulls with an ankle injury. This team has played very hard this year, but it feels like their lack of talent is beginning to catch up with them. Is this a Bulls spot, Dutch? Because it feels like it might be. Absolutely, boss. You know, I'm rocking the hat because, you know, we be bullying the bookies all day, but I'm feeling the Bulls as well. Now, they're 8-3 and three ATS on the season, 5-0 and oh ATS in their last five, 7-1 last eight ATS on the road, and they're 6-4 and four last ATS in the meetings and uh, versus them, and 2-1 and one last three in the ATS versus them as well. Uh, OKC, uh, OKC is what we're talking about, obviously. So, to me, like you mentioned, it's the Bulls or nothing. I love the Bulls here. And the Zach Levine, uh, numbers are crazy, Jimmy. Uh, his last two games, he's aver- versus OKC, he's averaging 40 points. He had 41 and 39 his last two meetings. Uh, he likes seeing that jersey. If you look it up, uh, the matchups don't work out very well for them. Zach Levine, of course, all we know is if it takes a couple shots to go in and the guy catches fire. I like the kid. I definitely like him to get off for 30-plus in this game. And I like the Bulls uh, definitely to win this game. Uh, what's the best line we can get uh, for both, Jim? We can only get one. There's only one book that has this up right now, and that's FanDuel. So you're going to get a line that I imagine I'll have no – I will not be able to get. You can get them plus one and minus 114 or just minus 108 on the money line. Yeah, I don't. I don't want the plus one. <laughs> yeah, oh, I feel you. Minus one hundred eight on the money line. That makes a ton of sense. There are no player props up, but if you decide to make a move on Zach Levine, yeah, we'll 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 get that out tomorrow. But Zach Levine's uh, definitely going to be a look. All right, let's move on to nine p.m. Eastern, and I have not made a move on this card, but I do want the Bulls. But these last three games, I do want to make a. 